Hey guys, my name is Josue Donis and I am gay. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want to reach out to people that are actually struggling with coming out. Uh, people that are having a hard time in their lives. You know, I've been in your shoes, I've been there before. Especially coming uh, from a traditional family. My mom is a Jehovah Witness, my dad's Catholic. And they didn't really accept any of it. And um, as a, since I was younger, they, they would tell me that it was wrong and it was, it was a sin, you know? I remember we used to watch uh, TV shows like Laura and stuff like that. And um, I remember my, my dad, uh, there was like, uh, I, I have the, this like picture in my mind and it, like it's always there. I remember there was like a case where there was a, a gay guy. They always put like homosexuality with right next to AIDS for some reason. And it's like, it's not that way, you know? And um, so I remember that very clearly in my head and I remember my dad saying if any of you guys, cause it's three, I got three brothers. Um, if any of you three come out being gay, I'm gonna beat the out of you guys. And he'll tell us stuff like that, you know? And so growing up, I was kind of scared of my dad. Um, thinking about, you know, everything that he would tell us that it was wrong, that it was bad. And then especially going to church, uh, uh, we went to a Jehovah Witness church. Um, and they would say, and read stuff saying that it was a sin that a man that would sleep with another man he, it's, he would go to hell and stuff like that so it was very scary for me and I remember there was nights when I would think that uh, I would grow out of it uh, this thing that everything would change and everything would be okay but at the end of the day I realized as I was getting older um, I had many girlfriends not many, like, <laughs> probably like four or five. Um, I spent a lot of time with them, of course. Uh, I dated this one girl for four years of my high school. No, three years, three years of high school. And I loved her, And uh, but at the end of the day, I just wasn't 100% happy. Um, it's It's weird, like, the other day, my mom asked me, isn't being gay a choice? <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? She's like, "Like, don't you choose who you like? And I'm like, do you choose who you like? And she's like, well, I'm like, how do you, how do you know you like your boyfriend? You know, I told her that and she's like, I don't know. She's like, I just feel it. And I'm like, that's exactly how we feel. We don't pick and choose, we just, no, we don't choose. It's just, you just feel it. And uh, I can say that I got to feel when the first time I experienced something with a guy, I felt it being like way stronger than, than anything else that I have with any other, other girls, you know? It's going back to um, my coming out story. I remember, um, so as I was younger and I started noticing all that, I would try to avoid it. I would try to avoid like looking at guys. I would try to avoid doing this. I'll hang out with boys and talk about girls and you know, all that. I try to like suppress all my feelings towards guys. And it was hard at the point, at some point, you know? Um, but I remember I met a special someone and when I met that guy, um, everything changed. After high school, that's when I met him and uh it seemed um it was different from everything i ever felt before and uh i felt like i was complete i felt like like this is what i was missing in my life and um but it was hard for me to actually take that one step and it took me a little while um throughout high school i only dated girls um Almost at the end, that's when I experienced uh, with uh, one guy. He kissed me and uh, it felt different than with uh, kissing a girl. That's when I realized, I'm like, maybe I should explore this a little more. Maybe I should see where this goes, you know? And that's where, where I took that step. And um, I'm glad I did because this is who I am. This is what... Um, what I was missing in my life. I needed to be real with myself. I needed to to stop hiding and 
and just and being who I wasn't. I was policing my parents and everything, but I wasn't happy. I was not happy. And um, anyways, moving forward, when I um, when I met this guy, um, of course I would introduce him as a friend. He got so close to my family, and it was. It was good, it felt amazing. And I felt like people knew, but not really. They just really thought we were best friends because we went everywhere together. Uh, I moved out, I moved in with him. And um, it was, <laughs> I don't know, we used to go to the gym together. We, everything, and it felt good. And I don't regret it at the end of the day. Um, the, when I came out to my family, he asked me, he's like, I feel like we're moving uh, forward, okay, you know, he's like, everything's going good, but I need, uh, he's like, I need, he's like, some of my friends know about you and me, and I want somebody from, you know, your family to know, or someone close to you, and I have never told anybody, nothing, so I did tell one of my, my brother's uh, girlfriend, and she's one of my best friends, she's been with him for a long time, but... I told her about us and uh, what can I say she was just like oh my god I'm so happy for you um, it was just really good to feel that support um, it felt amazing I felt like I was able to talk to somebody about everything that I've been feeling towards him because he meant a lot he means a lot to me you know and um, after that, uh, a couple of year, a year or two passed by, and this, the relationship was getting a little more serious. And then we started having some problems, and um, after that, I remember um, he broke up with me for for some issues that we had. And when he broke up with me, it was my first heartbreak, and I remember I went, pff, I was at my lowest point, and. I couldn't hold it. I was so sad. I was heartbroken. And I had to tell somebody. And I started telling my family. <laughs> I started coming out to everybody in that moment. <laughs> and I felt like I'm so grateful to have such a great family. I told my mom. And she was very supportive. She's like, um, but how do you know, you know, like, it's fine. Uh, are you sure though? She'll ask me, like, that's the first thing she asked me. She's like, are you sure? She's like, um, are you sure it's not just a faith or is something just for the moment? I'm like, no, I'm like, this is who I am and that's, this is me. And um, she's like, well, she's like, all I want you to know is that what make, uh, I love you and um, whatever makes you happy makes me happy. So she's like, just, She's like, don't, like, she's like, I kind of knew, but, um, you know, she's like, it's really just up to you. She's like, um, you know, it's your choices, it's what you want. Uh, just know I love you, and uh, I love him as well. Because she, they, they knew, they, my whole family met him. They all know him, they know, they know him as my best friend, but as I started coming out, I, co I came out to my aunt. Uh, she was, uh, my whole family found out that we had broken up because my, my mom kind of told her sisters with my aunts and everything and my uncles and everybody kind of started finding out. Then uh, I told my cousin, she was very supportive. She's like, you know, no matter what, like she's like, we grew up together. Um, you are who you are and that doesn't change what we have and most of my cousins did as well my brother was like you don't have to explain yourself to me um that's your choice um you you are who you are and i love you both of my brothers did and um i felt like all the love all the support all that helped me through the breakup and that's the way I came out. I did try to tell my dad. And when I told him, he was more of like, um, he's like, are you sure? But are you gay? And I'm like, like, you know, it was kind of hard for me, especially because of all the things that I've been with my dad. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I am gay. Um, and uh, I feel like he didn't take it okay. He, he 
took it kind of like, eh, whatever, you know, like, um, like you're not this, uh, you can change and stuff like that. He's like, this is not your whole life. He's like, this is, he's like, this is just a uh, faith in your, in your life, a little faith in your life. Um, and you'll, you'll get through it. And I'm like, no, it's not. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, I was so heartbroken and I was going through so much emotions that I'm just like, you know what? Whatever you say, that's fine. So I just let it go. But, uh, after that, I never told him anything. That's not a bad person. He's not, he, he has a very close mind. But at the end of the day, I feel like when we moved here to Chicago, I feel like his mentality changed. He actually had some gay friends and everything changed. And even though he is not 100% okay with me, he, he loves me. And I feel like since he already met my boyfriend, who was my boyfriend at the time, he's not my boyfriend anymore. Uh, he's something else. Um, so <laughs> he met him as my best friend, so he's very cool with him. So he loves him, and he doesn't treat us in any way different than anybody else. You know, he's a little asshole sometimes to me, but you know that's he. He's very proud of who I am, and he he loves us after like a couple of months we got back and now everybody knew and I was out just to my close friends and family I've never really put myself out there and that's what I'm doing now and I wanted to do it this way uh, just so people can see it you know see my what I've been through and at the end of the day everything works out everything you'll be happy just by by doing this like honestly like I felt like this big weight that was on my shoulders just that was off and I could f I felt free I felt like man I can breathe I, I feel I feel good you know after everything happened um, I feel like there was a lot of support I didn't lose any friends um, I did have a couple of my aunts uh, these are more the like the religious ones they were kind of like they would see me and then they were like, uh, they'll treat me really sweet and nice. And like, I could feel like a little bit of like, you know, like side eyes and stuff like that. I love parties and stuff, but slowly that's been going away. And uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm sure that this is new to them. They never really seen anything like that. I'm, I am the first guy to come out in our family. Uh, we don't have any, any other gay relatives or family members so this is new to them and it just takes time for them to you know warm up to it get a little bit used to it but it did help that um, my boyfriend was actually close to them it helped that I brought him as a friend and they all loved them but at the end of the day I feel like I've for me to do all this, it took time and it took a lot of things, but the reason why was because when I was younger, um, I used to get a lot of like, you're too feminine, oh, you're gay and stuff like that from other kids. I used to get a little bit bullied, you know, I try, I never really let guys or any other, anybody bully me. Um, one time I remember someone like call me gay and stuff and I remember this was not like, sixth grade i had just come to the united states from guatemala and i kicked that kid in the balls um i was just skinny so they would make fun of me and i didn't speak english so they were very uh, they were bullies and i always stood up for myself because my, my dad was very tough with us and he's like if you get your your ass beat i'm gonna beat your ass when you get home so i'll be like oh like I'm not gonna get bullied and I can't get my ass beat, so I like <laughs> I will always get into like little fights and stuff at school. But I feel like one of the hardest things for a parent or like what they think when you tell them I'm gay is like they're gonna they think of like what TV and so like you know society puts out there like oh, all gay guys are really feminine and this and that and there's nothing wrong with them. When it comes to me, I'm not like that. Um, um, I'm very, I'm a little feminine. I can, I, you know, I accept that. Uh, but I am, uh, I love cars. I love motorcycles. Uh, as you can see, my helmet right there. 
uh, I'll put up videos if you guys want to see more of my life. Let me know. I'll put up more videos. I'll make videos. Um, so I feel like they just think we all gay guys are going to be fem feminine, you know? And we're not all feminine. Um, everybody's different. I just feel like they would think they were thinking that I was going to change into like this feminine guy and I'm not. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, everybody is who who they are, you know? Everybody's different and uh, I feel like it was just a little more easy on them to accept me due to the fact that I'm um, I, I didn't change at all. I, all the change was, hey, this is host way, and now he's gay, you know. But nothing changed. It's just, just the same, and and that's it. It just took a little time for them to see that I'm not changing who I am. I am the same person. And this video, I made it because I want people to hear my story, and uh, it's hard. Take your time with it. Don't rush it. It'll come to you. It took for me to meet someone very special for me to feel comfortable with uh, with that person and be, and understand what the feeling is. Once you know what the feeling is uh, and you know 100% that you are, you'll find the courage in you to just, hey, fuck it. This is who I am and this is how I'm happy. This this makes me happy. And this is nothing. Nothing you can say or anybody can say will change that. At the end of the day, I feel like I don't regret my choice. I feel like it made me who I am. It makes me happy. It makes me. I feel free. You know. I feel like I don't have to hide anything from anybody. And the reason why I haven't put anything on my social media is because this is the way I wanted to do it. This is the way I wanted to come out to my friends and everybody else in the world. Thanks to all the YouTubers and all the people, you know, that are, that put their life and their experience out there. It's why I'm here today. Um, I feel like a couple of them here, let me mention a couple of them that actually inspired me. Gust is one of them. I don't know if you're, there you go, if it's focusing. He is one of the, people I admire the most um, <laughs> Bretman rock yes bitch <laughs> he's hilarious like I can't stop watching his videos he's just so funny um, oh there's this couple who I follow on Instagram who are amazing um, Carson and Nate Yes, these guys have inspired me a lot. They um, they are one of my, like my role models. They just they just they're out there. They don't care, and they they're not afraid to show who they are, which is why I I decided to do this. They are the people who actually gave me a little push to do this video and uh, and uh, put myself out there and share my experience so other people can see it and know that it's not that bad and there's always someone that would have it worse but, um, but it's okay once you do it you feel you know you feel free, you feel better, you are who you are, and I don't feel you need to hide that. I don't feel you need to do that. Um, it's worse to be living a lie, to not be who you are. Thank you for watching. Um, I really hope this uh, helps people out there. Um, I know it's hard. I know it's really hard. Uh, but coming out was was amazing. Um, it actually, all the support that I got made me feel loved, made me realize who I got around me. And I know people, some other people might have different experiences, but at the end of the day, I know that um, we all, we all have to go through it just so you 
so you can live your life as who you are and we don't waste our time being someone we're not.